seen a natural disaster that has proved to be a threat over the entire world. Earthquakes can happen at any moment during any time of the year. Today, with technology advancing, scientists are now able to predict a possible timing of earthquakes in a location due to fault zones. In order to prevent drastic after effects, everyone in this room, including the entire population, should take precautions that will protect your life. I will be alerting you today on possible threats, precautions that should be taken, and how to deal with the damage disaster. If an earthquake should strike, you shall now be prepared. An earthquake is a sudden, rapid shaking of the earth, caused by the breaking and shifting of subterranean rock as it releases strains that have accumulated over a long period of time. Ever since the earth was created, plate tectonics are constantly moving. They either move over, under, or against. Once they hit each other, it accumulates energy, causing them to push away. Even though the movement may be very minimal, it may cause minimal movement to extensive movement, no matter where it's located. Pertaining to the location of the fault zones, it may affect a small population or a huge city, such as San Francisco. In the year of 1906, at 5.12 a.m. on April 18th, San Francisco suffered from one of the most significant earthquakes ever documented. Here are pictures. Just a minute warning may save thousands of lives. Seismographs are instruments that record earthquakes. They record the shaking of the earthquake and the magnitude by the movement it receives. A thin needle with ink leaves behind a line on a piece of paper that is either slightly uneven or a line that is very up and down. The seismograph also helps determine where the earthquake was located based on how much it feels. Let me show you a video of a seismograph in action. Let's take a look. You're looking at another picture of this of this ABC7 seismograph. Very large quake happening right now. catastrophic event, the citizens themselves don't have the power to rebuild their surroundings. This is when the government needs to step in. Haiti was destroyed by a natural disaster that climbed the death chart to over 200,000 deaths. Since the majority of the natural resources and surroundings were destroyed, they were in desperate need for help. The government needs to respond to the disaster by setting supply chains for aid, sending citizens to rebuild a new town, and raise money for everyone who lost all that they own. The government is the one thing that has a complete control on helping the world around us. While all that is needed is daily necessities, the government needs to go above and beyond by creating charities and continuing to help the nation even after it gets back on its own feet. The government is the one thing that will make a quick physical and mental change to everyone who is affected. We may not always be stronger than the physical earth itself but we may be mentally stronger when it comes to a possible negative outcome. In order to save lives, there has to be help from everyone, including the government, precautions to be taken by households and countries, and technology to predict earthquakes. In order to take precautions that may save a life, building must remove objects that may fall when there is movement, store necessity food that may save lives if stuck for long periods of time, and help others who are in need when there is an earthquake. If an earthquake should strike, please try to contact help, no matter what the circumstances are. You may save lives. Hopefully, after listening to my research on earthquakes, you now have a better understanding of the causes and after effects. Thank you for your time, and good luck in the future.